Hello everyone and welcome to another World War Z Aftermath video. Today I bring you some very good news. We have a completely brand new two hand weapon that has been added to the game as well as a weapon variant from the advanced combat weapon and not only that, we have two new healing items, the bandage kit and the adrenaline. Let's begin of how you can get both weapons. The melee is actually pretty easy. You have to find all the documents from a single level, not a whole episode, from a level. This way you will be able to unlock the melee weapon and personally I had done it from certain levels so I have it. However, for the advanced combat weapon variant, unfortunately you have to find all the documents from a whole episode, which personally I haven't done so yet. The melee weapon is actually pretty impressive. It may have some hidden stats because although everything seems the same as the two hand weapons, we have two special abilities. Lunch Necked, I probably butchered the name, apologies. The signature strike, so every third strike, we proc the signature strike, deals 100% more damage and hits one additional target. And there can be only one. When you kill a teammate that turns into zombie, you heal 100% damage. This is very powerful because as you can see, the signature strike is actually two slashes, so you can kill so many Z with the sword, especially with the slasher, because when we get a new melee toy, I was hoping to get something good for the slasher, and probably this is my new to-go weapon. I have tested this against the swarm because I was curious, and I did manage to kill more than 10 Z with one swing, because they were so close to each other, and the signature strike just wrecks everything. It's probably my new favorite melee weapon for the slasher. For non-slashers, I would probably use it for challenge mode hard. The signal to strike is actually awesome every three strikes. You can just push away a lot of Zeke and kill them, even without the weapon increase. And you have to rest because you have five maximum swings and every third swing you get the signal to strike. So you have to one, two, three, wait for the third charge and one, two, three again. But I do like it up to, as I told you, challenge mode hard. For extreme difficulty, I probably wouldn't use it. But I need a little more testing to be sure. Unfortunately, the advanced combat weapon I haven't unlocked it yet. However, we can see what abilities we have. Reparation and team player. One reduces the friendly fire for your teammates. And the other, the reparation. Killing a special zombie with his weapon restores 100% rounds to the magazine. We have three possibilities, but in reality actually two. One, if this has a cooldown. Two, if this restores free ammo to your magazine, so you won't consume any extra ammo, or if this does consume your ammo. Now, if this has a cooldown, how much is the cooldown? 30 seconds, 20 seconds, one minute? If then the weapon is powerful and very good. However, if the cooldown is zero, so every time you kill a special Zeke, you restore 100% rounds to the magazine, no matter if you waste ammo or you get free ammo, this is either broken or very much broken, and probably the best weapon in the entire game, you cannot change my mind. If this doesn't have a cooldown, it's the most powerful weapon, especially for horde mode. You can imagine how you can do killing Zig, kill a special Zig, restore the ammo, killing Zig, kill a special Zig, restore ammo, and go on and go on. We also have two items that you can carry instead of the medkit, the bandage kit and adrenaline. One restores health and the other can self-revive you and give you unlimited stamina and melee stamina for a short period of time. The bandage kit is actually my favorite because you can place it on the ground, it has four bandages and anyone can use it. You get a minor healing over time and in challenge mode it heals you for around one and a half bar. And when the healing over time is up, you cannot use the item. However, when you have taken the healing that you can, you can reuse the item. So basically, I think one button skit can approximately heal you for a little more than full health. It's actually awesome. You can replace it in certain positions and everyone can take advantage. I also tested if the healing takes advantage from the medic's perks. However, I found no difference for now. I will do further testing, but for now, if I'm not mistaken, we don't get any extra healing, either if we play a medic or any other class. Adrenaline works a little different. You can only use it when you are incapitated. 
you get up and for a limited amount of time you get unlimited melee and running stamina. This is actually very awesome, both of these items, because now fortunately we can have the medics pick up their medkits and everyone else pick up those items. The adrenaline can be very useful for a slasher if he goes ahead and he needs to self revive and get the unlimited stamina for running and melee as you can see in the background, so you can just escape and reposition. And a final change they included and one of the best in my opinion, you get the horde mode rewards after each wave, so even if you disconnect or something happens to your game, you will still have the rewards, that's an awesome change, I have tested this and as you can see in the background it works, you get the blue coins or the yellow coins or the XP after each wave, which will make things so good to play horde mode, so you don't have to worry about disconnection, even if you disconnect, you will get everything after each wave. So that was it for today's video, very good news, now we have a reason to play more dailies to collect the documents, so we can unlock the sword and most of all the new cool looking and very powerful advanced combat weapon. Thank you very much for watching and an extra thank you in case you stick around until the end. Feel free to like, subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming videos, for World War Z, Aftermath and other video games. And as always I wish you all a wonderful day.